LLM Deploy is a nifty tool for LLM inference and deployment locally. In this video, I will be showing you how to install LLM Deploy and then how you can deploy a large language models locally on multiple GPUs. That and there are various other characteristics of this LLM Deploy tool. LLM Deploy is primarily a toolkit for compressing, deploying, and serving large language models developed by MM Razor and MM Deploy teams. It has quite a good efficient inference because it delivers up to 1.8 times higher request throughput than VLLM and it also introduces key features like persistent patch or in other words continuous batching, blocked KV cache, dynamic split and fuse, tensor parallelism, high performance CUDA kernels and so on. It is supported on both CUDA 12 and also CUDA 11. It also has quite a good effective quantization where you can do weight only quantization and KV quantization. I will make another separate video on quantization and I'm not going to touch on that one because that's a separate topic but rest assured it also supports that 4-bit inference on FP6 and uh, which is higher than FP16 quantization and the quality is quite awesome. Other than that it also supports effortless distribution server which we will also see and then it also has got an interactive inference mode and there are few other stuff too. Okay, now it is um, supported on NVIDIA GPU cards, A100, V100, 4096 and few others. The list of supported model is quite huge, whether it is Llama 3 or Llama family, Quen models, Code Llama, Phi, Intern VL Chat, Mini Gemini, Gemini, Mixtrol, Gemma, Mistral and the list goes on and on. All the cool model it supports. Okay, now having said that, Let's go and install it on our local system. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to our friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring my local VM, which I will be running this installation and uh, play on. And also they have given a very awesome, cool GPU, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000. If you are looking to rent a GPU, then I will drop the link to their website with a 50% discount coupon and their offerings are not only very affordable but also no lock-in quite flexible highly recommend okay let's go to my local system which is of course my ubuntu and i'm running this cuda version um, 11 so let me also show you my ubuntu version to you only if i could find the static okay there you go and my NVIDIA GPU card is this A6000 courtesy to our good friends at Mast Compute. Let me clear the screen. I also have Conda installed because I would like to install everything nice, separate and clean. Okay, so that is done. Now let's quickly create a Conda environment with Python 3.10. And then we will step into that environment after pressing here this Y. And then it is going to download all this stuff. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long now. It be done any minute. That is done. Let's activate this environment. That is also done as you can see on the left hand side in the parenthesis. Because as I earlier showed you, I have a CUDA 11.5. So I would just need to use that. Uh, this command, if you have CUDA 12, then simply you need to inst run this command pip install lm deploy but i don't have it i have cuda version 11.5 as you can see here so i am going to use this command so i'm just first exporting the lm deploy version which is compatible with cuda 11.5 then python version and then let's run our pip command to install this lm deploy there you go so let's run it it is going to take a bit of a time, so let's wait for it to finish. So LM deploy is installed now, took a bit of a time. Let's clear the screen. Let's fire up our Python interpreter and I'm going to import LM deploy now. LM deploy is imported and for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go with this intern LM chat uh, 7 billion model and I'm using LM deploys pipeline. And if you want to know more about this model, I already have done a video some time ago. So check it out. Pretty good model, by the way. So let me run it. It is going to download the model. 
you see there are eight tensor hopefully it will work on my system because each tensor is two gig so let's wait for it to finish it looks good today shouldn't take too long tensors are loaded you can ignore this warning for now and just press enter that is done i'll just press enter a few times now this is all there is to it for downloading the model now in order to do the batch inference you see i'm just piping um, these two prompts here that hi please introduce yourself and sydney is so let's see um, and then i'm storing the response uh, response in this response variable model has generated the response and now let's print it out there you go it says that love there you go so it is the capital of the state of new south wales that is true and then for our first one it has gone with hello i'm intern lm uh, then it is just saying some stuff here and there then there are some tokens and stuff which we are expected here and then similarly um, our sydney question uh, answer is here and then the tokens about it amazing stuff so you see how good it is to do the entrance and then also getting the tokens plus your um, response back now on the second part if you are looking to deploy it on multiple gpus now let me show you that let me exit from here we will go to our python inter uh, our shell prompt again let me clear the screen the command which we normally use to do that is called as serve api server and you can get its help from here so let me run it and we will see what help says and the help is quite comprehensive for example it has a lot of stuff there a lot of switches um, for, for example there is a tp which allows you to set tensor parallelism there is a session length to specify the max length of the context window there is cache max entry count to adjust the gpu memory ratio for kv cache and lot of stuff now of course you won't know all of these options for that there you go so you have all of these options described very very nicely you know you, you can use ssl api keys and then you can just adjust them as per own your use case this is the tp1 the gpu number used in um, tensor parallelism it should be 2 raised to power and default is 1 so if you want you can increase it to 2 so the way you will run it is that whenever whatever the command will be you will just add dash dash tp space if you have four gpus put four if you have eight whatever the two raised to power is for example two gpus the two raised to power two so that will be like four so that is how you need to put your tp value and then it will adjust it so for example i'm just going to serve it like this lm deploy serve api server this model which we already have downloaded and if you haven't it will download it again and then you can specify whatever port you want it to go on in our case i'm just specifying this to 3333 so you can change the port of course and then it is it will start serving your uh, model locally which you can access of course from restful api or anywhere else from any other tool um, from this server plus it will be served on multiple gpu so for example if you want go on let's say eight gpus so i'll just say tp is equal to eight something like that right so this is how you need to specify and then it will automatically distribute the load there how good is that so as soon as you will press enter it is going to fetch the files which already have we have downloaded it is converting here and now it is running our model uh, or whatever there is on this port on this two three 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 and you can start accessing your model now let me take you to this server in the gui and you can see that here on that port two three 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 on my local host this is running which you can use with the curl command to get the model you can do the chat completion or whatever you like it is going to respond to it so you can build your own whole llm server here with any model from Hugging Face, and that is the beauty of this LM deploy. How good is that? And if I go back to my party, you see that it has received that get command, and it is an open API compatible format, and 200 uh, status code is here for success. So, amazing, amazing uh, tool for serving your um, 
models locally for inference for batch inference and on multiple gpus and as i mentioned earlier you can also put it on kubernetes you can put it on a lot of other stuff so for the quantization one i will make another video and we'll see how to do quantization with it and i will drop the link to this repo in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching